Hi, I'm Liz with Liz's Crafts, and today I'm going to show you how I made these three gingerbread houses. Aren't they cute? So I took this uh, plaque from Hobby Lobby a couple years ago, 90% off. So it was originally $9.99, and I paid $0.99 cents for it. And we're going to use three of those. I'm going to go ahead and take the tags off because I don't like tags on my stuff. I usually do try to sell my stuff. Now I'm going to take this metallic uh, deco art uh, acrylic paint and I'm going to go around the edges of each of these houses and uh, it's where the red is that's where I'm going to put this and this is kind of a a goldish brown bronzy color and I use one of those foam pouncers bouncers whatever they call them and I do like the texture that that leaves and normally you only have to give it one coat but uh, because the red was so out there I had to give these two coats so again, I'm just going around the edges. I'm not doing the uh, very top where the design is. We'll take care of that later. So once I, <clears throat> once I get that first coat on there, um, then I do the top portion where the design is. Now I did touch it, so I had to touch that up a little bit. And I'm going to use Apple Barrel white acrylic paint on that. And again, I'm just going to use a pouncer brush, a pouncer sponger paint dauber, I guess you would say. I don't know. I got these from Walmart, the brushes. So I just go over the design and actually the whole top of the box. Just going up and down, up and down. And I don't really give this two coats. I do this one coat and then the next one I just go over the design area with it. I don't worry about the rest of it for the second coat. But you do want to make sure your first coat is dry before you put a second coat on or your second coat will just take your first coat off. Ask me how I know these things. Yep, that's right. I did it. Not in this DIY, but in others. So here I'm putting on my second coat of the metallic acrylic paint on the sides. And I do have this on a can on my Lazy Susan and I got the Lazy Susan from the Dollar Tree for five dollars and I thought it would be a cheap Lazy Susan to do crafts on so as you can see there's some gold paint on it I uh, previously did um, bells in my previous video and uh, I spray painted the bells on the uh, Lazy Susan So yeah, I just go all the way around my house with the second coat of the metallic paint. And you can get this paint at Hobby Lobby. It's a $1.89 a bottle. And there's two ounces in a bottle. There it is completed. And I've already put the um, second coat of the white acrylic on the design portion. And then I have this metallic looking uh, vinyl and I forget where I got it somewhere online and I cut out these gingerbread houses. So what I did was I went to Cricut Design Space. I measured my house from top to bottom and then side to side and that's what I did for my measurements on my vinyl. So it worked out pretty good. I have this extra space left over at the top and we'll take care of that later. 
but all I did was type in uh, gingerbread house and lots of different gingerbread houses came up and these are the three that I picked for my projects in this video. And I thought this vinyl and that um, acrylic paint on the sides are a pretty good match. I mean, you can't really tell the difference. So I got lucky with that in that both of those matched up because uh, I didn't have to go buy anything. I already had everything. So you just want to be careful when you're pulling off the um, transfer tape. And actually what I'm using is that clear, um, shoot, what do they call it? Anyway, you can get it at the Dollar Tree. You can get it probably at Walmart or anywhere. It's the clear vinyl, uh, just self-adhesive vinyl. I forget what they call it. If you know what it's called, put it in a comment because, yeah, I just can't think of it right now. So that one's the, uh, it's all transferred on there and you just want to smooth it out and make sure that uh, it is on your um, house really good. And here's the second one. Now, what underneath there, there was like a lump or a bump, and I just took it off. It was paint or something, I don't know. So if you had any, have any of those lumps or bumps, just pick them off. And I have to say, this one here transferred so quickly and easily. I wish they all did that, but unfortunately that is not the case, but look how nice that one did. Love it. So there's the second one and there are some more bumps underneath there. I didn't get rid of, but I could have, I just left them. And here's the third one. Now this one, originally I thought I would cut that bottom piece off and not use it. That's why the very tip of my house is hanging off. Um, the very tip of my vinyl is hanging off my house because I thought I wasn't going to use that very bottom. But I did decide to go ahead and use it. Now this one was a little more difficult to... Uh, get on to my house not sure what the difference was maybe I didn't press it down enough to start out with can see it pulling up the windows and the door there so I just rub them back down keep pulling keep rubbing then I go at it at a different direction sometimes if you pull like from the side or whatever it does a little bit better And there it is. Now the very top, I had this excess vinyl, so I'm just gonna cut that off. And then the excess is, sorry, the excess vinyl on the bottom, I just wrapped it around the sides. And actually you can't even see it because like I said, the uh, 
the vinyl and the uh, paint matched perfectly. Now I'm just taking this puff paint in white. I got it from uh, Walmart and I'm just going over all the parts that have been cut out. You just want to take your time with this. Um, when your bottle starts squeezing in, you want to puff it back out and then shake it, shake your, uh, I guess it's glue, right? Or paint, uh, shake it down to the tip and then continue with it. It works a little bit better that way. But I'll just let you watch this. It is a bit of a process. It does take a little while to do, but I do like the end result. You'll have to let me know what you think about this project. I've never really done uh, gingerbread houses before. So when I, I saw these uh, houses in my stash, and then I thought, well, gee, I think I have some vinyl that kind of looks like gingerbread color. I think that I will try to make some gingerbread houses and use my puff paint. So here I am doing this. And like I said, I think it turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with the result. I mean, I know my skill isn't all that great with the puff paint, but I still think it, it turned out pretty good. I'm not going to complain about it. Believe it or not, this little bottle of puff paint, I had already used it before on some other stuff, uh, but it did all three of the houses. I didn't. I was thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to have to go buy another bottle, but I didn't have to. Now here's how I fix the roof here. I just fill it in with the puff paint, and then I uh, do the tip of the paint down from the roof, and it looks like, you know, the snow or maybe it's icicles or whatever are hanging down. That I didn't do very good at, but, you know, I'm still okay with it. I did a little better on the other two houses, but I don't make you watch that. I just show you the end result. It was kind of fun filling uh, these spaces in with the uh, puff paint, but I have to tell you, after doing three of them, my hand was kind of sore. <laughs> I guess from squeezing the paint bottle for so long.
And then I have to tell you, after I finished all three of these, instead of waiting for them to dry, I set them up on my uh, uh, cabinet to take a photo of them. And this one here fell face down. And I was devastated. I'm like, are you kidding me? So I picked it up as gently as I could. And of course, there's all this paint on the top of my chest. Chest or drawers, I think is what it is. And uh, so I cleaned that up. But I'm like looking at this piece here. And I'm like, oh my gosh. What am I going to do now? So I was able just to touch it up. Go back over it with some more of the puff paint and I mean it's not perfect by any means but it looks it looks okay but I I just couldn't believe that happened I'm like are you kidding me it just fell over face down and of course the paint was still wet I'm like oh no no all my hard work but it wasn't too bad it really wasn't I was surprised has anything like that happened to you? If so, let me know in the comments. I mean, you do all that work and then boom, and you're like, oh gosh, it's over. I just want to throw it away and forget about it. But I continued on. I cleaned it up as best I could. And uh, you'll see in the photo, because I took the photo after I... Uh, you know, cleaned it all up. So you'll have to look at this one specifically and see what you think. But this is in real time. I didn't speed it up or slow it down or anything. So, um, I mean, just take your time with it. It's not it's not the easiest thing to do. I mean, it's time consuming. And then, like I said, your hand gets tired. It's not hard. But, you know, if your hand is shaky and you can't draw a straight line, you know, it could be a little difficult. I felt like overall it turned out pretty good. And you can actually get houses like this at the Dollar Tree. And you can use theirs. I had just gotten these from uh, Hobby Lobby a couple years ago. And um, of course when it was 90% off. So I paid 99 cents for them. So a dollar. So it was cheaper than the Dollar Tree, basically. But if you don't have any on, on hand and you want to get some, usually the Dollar Tree has them on hand. And I think there's, you can get like the blank wood ones that um, are like solid pieces of wood. Or if you have any wood pieces at home, <clears throat> you can just cut it in an angle at the top. Cut your three different ones for your houses. Okay, I'm done with that one. There she is. The door reminds me of a pineapple. There is gingerbread house number one. Now I did this one offline and there it is. Now it's finished. And I do like the roof on that one a lot better. I was getting better at it. 
My first one, not so great. My second one was better. And now for the third one. So I've already put the uh, puff paint on this one. And again, the roof looks a lot better. And I'm going to show you all three of them side by side as soon as I get my camera fixed to where I can show you all three of them. And uh, let me know if one of these is your favorite. I personally, I think I like the candy one the best, so the far left one. But let me know which one you like. So there they all three are standing up and like I said that's after I had to fix that one there on the right and again I'm Liz with Liz's crafts and if you like what you see give me a thumbs up and a comment and uh, I'll see you in the next video